Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you four amazing techniques of using find and replace in Excel. Here I have the sales rep data, uh, the region where they've made the sale and the total sales value. Now here I have three sales rep names and I'm pulling the data, the sales data for these three sales reps. So what I'm doing is I'm using an index formula where a2 to C12 is my entire array then to get the row number I use a match formula where this cell becomes my lookup value it looks in this column uh, as represented by A2 to A12 and then it uh, gives the corresponding value from the third column which is the sales column now uh, if I change this to the country name so I make it US Canada and Brazil. As expected this would give an error because uh, it is looking in the first column it, while it should be looking in the second column here. So to make this change in this case it's a small database and a small uh, number of cells where I need to make these changes so I can manually make this or I can manually change this from A2 to B2 and A12 to B12 but imagine you have a huge database and you need to make these changes you need to change cell references then you can use find and replace to do it. So in this case uh, let me select this and copy this now I would select these cells where I need to make the change I would press ctrl H and in find what so ctrl H opens the find and replace dialog box and within find what I would paste the cell reference which is A2 to A12 and I would replace this with B2 to B12 so I would make this change and now when I go to find all you can see that it has found these three cells here and you can see it gives you the reference F3, F4 and F2. Now when I go to replace all it will say all done we made three replacements so now you can see that A2 to A12 has been conveniently replaced by B2 to B12 so this is a good technique which when you have a huge data set and you want to change uh, a lot of references instead of doing it manually what you can do is you can use find and replace so that it will do it in one go. Now the second technique here is using find and replace to find the background color or the format in a cell and replace it with something else. So in this case I have two background colors these three cells have uh, a different background color and these two cells have a different background color. Now it could be the case because you are downloading it from a database or you are getting it from a colleague or you are collating the data where different people have marked it in different colors and you want to make it consistent. So to do that we can use find and replace. I would select this and again press ctrl H. It opens the find and replace dialog box. I would have to remove these references. Now I would go to the options button and when you click on options button you would see that now you have another set of options available along with this which says no format set and what I can do is I can set a format that I need to find. Now you can give if you click on it you can give a format here or you can also choose a format from cell. So when I click on it you can see that now I have this picker and when I go and select this cell it automatically picks the format and it comes in the preview and in replace with I would again select a format which would be this one. So what I'm asking it find this format and replace it with this format and when I find all you can see it finds two cells which is A10 and A11 and when I go to replace all it says all done we made two replacements and quickly those things have been changed and now I have the specified format. So this is again one way where you have a huge data set and you want to make it consistent with one single kind of formatting then you can use find and replace. The third example is using line breaks. Now uh, see what happens when I have this text and a lot of people have this habit where they would use alt enter to give a line break within a single cell. So for example here if I come to uh, the lazy and I press alt enter then it will go to the next line and 
it will stay like this. So this is something that could be irritating. Another case is when you copy data from a PDF file into Excel, then sometimes you have these line breaks which are automatically there. So to remove these line breaks, again, we can use find and replace. I would press control H. Here I would clear the format. And in find what, you would press control J j for jack so here i would press control j and see what's happening on the screen here instead of that vertical uh, space bar command bar i have a dot blinking this is an indication that now i have a line break here in find what and i would replace it with nothing i want to uh, simply delete the line break so now when i go to uh, find all you can see it finds line breaks here in A1 and when I go to replace all it will make all the replacements so it says we've made four replacements and now you can see it is in one single line so this is a quick way to remove line breaks from your text in Excel and here is the final example where I have these company names and you can see that I have a code name in round brackets for each company now I get this data from a financial database in my work and I have to remove these codes for each company and I can use find and replace to quickly do it within a couple of seconds and what I'll do is along with find and replace I would use a wildcard character so let me show you how it works I would select this data I would press control H to open the find and replace dialog box and here within find I would use a round bracket then I would use an asterisk sign or a star sign and then I would again close the bracket. What this does is it tells Excel that I'm looking for anything that starts with a round bracket, ends with a round bracket and have any number of characters in between. Asterisk is a wildcard character that represents any number in Excel. It could be uh, no character, it could be one, two, hundred thousand, it could be any number of characters. So in this case when I go and I go to find all you can see that it will find all these cells because every cell has uh, a code which begins with a round bracket ends with a round bracket and has some text in it so now what I simply do is I leave the replace with empty and I say replace all and now it had made six replacements and now I have company names here uh, one thing that you need to be cautious of is that as of now you have this leading this trailing space here so what you need to do is simply use the trim function along with this now you would have the company names which would not have any uh, space here at the end you can simply copy this and paste it as values so now you would have these company names and then you can use it in formulas and look up in matches in match formulas and everywhere so this is how you can use find and replace to sort small things in Excel that may take you a lot of time these are techniques that you can use to clean the data or quickly change the formatting or references I hope you found this video useful thank you and have a nice day